Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. And in this segment of Breaking Truckers, we're breaking the trucking industry. Sit back and listen to this clip that we about to check out, man. In this clip, in this little voiceover right here, it tells you about what can really go down in the industry when you decide to jump in it, man. There's times that you won't be able to get your sleep in on a company pot, I mean, on a company property because they don't want you there. There's times that you can get into, uh, into a situation. There are times that the company will leave you messed up and leave you unhirable if they put the wrong thing on your DAC report. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Truckers are one of the few jobs that don't get paid for all hours work, and this needs to change. You are required to be on time with a 10 minute window, but the wait time can run several hours. Some as much as five plus hours at a facility. You can be fired and become unhirable if the company who fired you dragged you through the mud on your driver dot report. All drivers have a dot report after earning a CDL. Most facilities go out of their way to enforce that truckers are not allowed to get some rest on their properties even though they deliver on a daily basis. Example a place that rhymes with fence mart. And last but not least. As a trucker you miss a lot of lifetime moments with the family. So, please think about it before you sign up. Well there you have it, a quick PSA. Quick one, you know. Not, you know, not too much dialogue. I, you know, I kind of like quick and to the point. I like that. I like that. Quick and to the point. There's some things in the trucking industry that really needs to change, though. A lot of things that need to change. And in order to change it, to be honest with you, a lot of us needs to get together and organize that change. One of us won't be able to do it. Two of us won't even be able to do it. 10,000 of us won't even be, be able to do it. We need a congregation to get together and bang on that door for change for the truckers because we're overworked and we're under, severely underpaid. Some companies can just get away with what they can do to today's truck drivers. Listen, drivers, a lot of new drivers fall. You guys fall for that great pay and plenty of home time. Listen, I'm going to tell you, that is false. That is false, depending on, de depending on the company that you get with, because that's the first thing that the recruiter is going to try to entice you with. Great pay and plenty of home time. That's not always the case. Need to do your homework, need to do your research on that home time and great pay. But I am here to tell you, this is trucking. Everything is not straightforward, okay? All right, make sure you do your research and make sure that this is the industry that you wanna get into because <laughs> trucking isn't for crybabies. It's a tough job and everyone and everyone is not built for this kind of work. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Yeah. Yeah, KO, KO. KO, KO, give us some gas. Gas. Come on, man, use your head. Slow down, tap the brake. You gotta stop right up here. Tap the brake, tap the brake. The brake, not the clutch. The brake. Okay, now use the gas pedal. Go back over. Let's go to seven. There you go. Slow down. Listen, you gotta start thinking ahead. You're driving along in tenth gear, like that's it, huh? You have to shift the truck up and down. Up. And that's gonna do it, y'all. We we broke the trucking industry, but there's so much. There's so much in this industry that really, really needs to be broken. So what you guys need to do is definitely subscribe over here to the Lockout Man podcast show so that you can get any and every type of trucking information that you need to digest over here. Thank you guys for watching this segment of Breaking Truckers on the Lockout Man podcast show.